guys, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you this photo um, wallet that I created, or photo envelope wallet that I created. And let me just start off by showing you um, the products that I use. So it's a photo envelope, or photo wallet with envelope. I forget how I named it, but it'll be on the thing. Anyway, I use the Creoli's Next XXL dies and the circle die for my little closure piece. That is number 53. I also use from the Creoli's Next XXL dies number 44 and 56. I used On the Edge die number 45, which is becoming my new favorite. And for the mini album binding systems, I used D and C. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a peek. So I just have an elastic closure on the front to keep it closed. And it just opens up. And let me just walk you through how I made the envelope. So I used the binding system D, which has the much wider gusset, which would give you this portion right here so it's a little thicker. And the way I made that is, I'm just going to use this as an, a sample. So you would cut your piece out, and then you just attach your pieces right up to the gusset. So if I turn it enough, you won't even see it, but you flap. So my camera is not the best at this. But basically, all you're doing is attaching one to the front and then one to the back, and then that's how you're making your envelope portion. And then you need to cut out of the binding system D, you would have to cut four of these. And that would be for the, the top and the bottom and the two sides. And I would suggest that if you do go ahead and do this, um, take the main piece on the back first, attach all of these pieces. So you'd attach these to your back piece. So basically you're going to attach it to the bottom, the top, and the two sides. Go ahead and then put down your pattern paper first. Then go ahead and for this piece here and this piece, go ahead and cut these out before you attach them. And I would even do the pattern paper first and then go ahead and attach it down. All right. So let me just walk you through my little photo wallet. So this is all about the photos. So there's nothing fancy with this. This is something really quick that you could make if you needed to have a quick project. This will currently hold 19 photos and, or 18 photos. Uh, let's figure it out. So it opens like this. So it'd be two, four, six, eight, nine. So 18 photos. And that's how it folds up. All right, so let me move this out of my way. So it has two sides. So you would open like this and that way. And then you have the two middle pieces. Whoops. You get two middle pieces. And then this flips down. So that's how, what you have right there. And if you had loose photos, you could put the loose photos in here. And then once you close this all up, they're not going to fall out. But like I said, this is all about the photos. So if you want to keep your photos, I would do the bottom, top, and then your two sides. That would keep stuff contained. And again, your bottom, top, and two sides. And then it just folds up. And that's the back. So to go ahead and make this piece, it's the same way. So this one right here is made with the binding system C. And you do the same thing. So you have your page. And then you just attach this and this. And then once you do, I just went down. So the dies that I used for all of this so you're going to use three. So you have your dies. You're going to use the, the largest one for your box, right there. And then the next size down, you're going to use this size. 
and that's because you want this to be able to fit in your box and you don't have to measure because it's the right next size down so it's a little smaller and then for my photo flaps where I attached everything I use the next one down so when you open it up those were made with this and then I just use this here to attach all my flaps so I'd have I would cut this out attach it here and then cut it and then this little piece would attach up here so I just went around all four sides and went ahead and attached it that way I hope that kind of explains it if I need to I can make a video um, I thought it was pretty simple, so hopefully you do too. But if you do need a full tutorial, I would be more than happy to go ahead and make that. And anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick little video with this little photo wallet. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, Patty's Crafty Spot, or the Creoles YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, happy, craft happy crafting, guys. Bye.